Good morning. Uh, we're on uh, day 10 uh, of the Sacred Heart of Jesus preparation the Saint, with St. Saint Gertrude's writings. Uh, I believe we have Prita and Chris Keller with us today. Um, hey, Bob. Oh, Bob. Okay. I haven't seen. Good job, Bob. <laughs> so, um, would someone like to start off with the prayer? Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> no worries. I'll start it. Oh, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, teach me to be meek and humble of heart like thee. Teach me perfect self-forgetfulness. Teach me what I must do to arrive at the purity of thy love. Thou knowest my weakness, but thou canst do all. Accomplish in me thy holy will. Consume me by the fire of thy love. Is not that, O Jesus, the office and desire of thy heart? And dost not deserve that there should be souls who know and love thee? Whilst thou, whilst there are so many who outrage and offend thee. Amen. Amen. All right. Tenth day, lift up friendship with the heart of Jesus, according to the teaching of St. Gertrude. One day, our Lord drew St. Matilda attention to her sister Gertrude, who apparently accomplished all her acts in, her, in his presence, frequently raising her eyes to his sweet face and finding abundant light and grace and loving in her loving intercourse with him, Matilda, one wondering at this spectacle, Jesus said to her, my chosen one, as you see, lies always with me and seek only to fulfill the good pleasures of my heart. As soon as she knows my wish on one point, of, a point she fulfills and immediately and then tries to find out my further desires, that she may sanctify them at once. Thus, all her life is spent in loving and pleasing me with the most perfect friendship. Love alone, love alone renders one path easy. To live in friendship with Jesus gladdens the heart and enables us to run in the way of the of commandments. This was St. Matilda's life, and this is the great teaching of her book. It is, in fine, the dearest wish of the heart of Jesus and the sweetest consolation we can offer him. Now, in what consists this life of friendship with Jesus? Friendship, says St. Thomas, consists in a mutual affection founded on a communication of goods. In the first place, then, we must render to the heart of Jesus love for love. O oh, Jesus, thy heart loves me. I see it clearly every way. It is consumed by love. Thou wilt have it represented as crowned with flames to show us that it is a furnace of love. Notwithstanding my infidelities, thou lovest me to such an extent that if my heart contained a mere portion of this love, it would at once burst asunder. And I also, I also, I love thee. I give myself to thee, to thee who art love, love itself, without fear, without reserve. I abandon myself forever to thy love. What have I to fear? My confidence strengthened by the the thought that thou art my friend will forever be unshaken. Is Prita going to read? She's been reading with us every day. Yeah, she's welcome, Prita. Would you like to read? I'll mute myself. Okay. I shall expect all from thee, my friend, knowing that thy riches and thy power are equal to thy goodness. Weak though I may be, I shall become as it were all powerful, for I can do all uh, by thy love, which gives me strength. Such a mutual friendship is founded, as we have said, 
on a communication of goods. Jesus has given me all, and I give all to him. All that I have is thine. As he said to me, he must also be able to say, all that thou hast is mine. He has given me his life, his labors, his merits, his blood, his divine heart. He gives me his body, his soul, his divinity. He wishes to give me his glory, his happiness, his eternity. I must also give him in return my life and all its de details, my heart with all its affections, my soul with all its powers, myself and all I have for time and for eternity. The exchange ought to be complete. And do I not gain everything by it? Jesus, Lord, take all and give all. Take all my miseries, since I, since indeed I possess nothing else. Then give me all thou wilt of thy riches to make me like thee, amiable and loving. That thy heart may rejoice in loving me as much as it desires and seeing itself loved by me as much as it has a right to expect. Furthermore, according to the angelic doctor, where friendship is perfect, one friend must take must make all his happiness consist in living with the other. Jesus fulfills this condition so thoroughly. He finds all his delight in living with the children of men. He will remain with us till the end of time. His eyes and his heart remain always in our midst. He, he ever dwells in our tabernacles. Be our companion through life. O oh Lord, may I place all my happiness in remaining with thee. One thing alone I desire, and I ask it from thy love, to dwell always close to thee in body, or at least in heart, to behold thy Eucharistic beauty, and glory to feed over ever on thy love, to pass my days and nights as far as thou dost wish, in blessing, in loving, and in con contemplating thee. The last condition of friendship is to share by the deepest sympathy every pleasure and affliction of the one we love and have but one heart with him. Concordat cum ipso. Jesus has fulfilled this condition admirably. He has taken our human heart and made himself one heart with us. He has espoused all the interest of humanity in becoming man. He has taken all our sorrows on himself. He feels the sympathy. He feels by sympathy all our joys more keenly than we do ourselves. Oh, may it be the same with me, dear Lord. May my sentiments be guided entirely by thine, and may there be between thy will and mine not only union, but unity. O Jesus, may thy heart be my heart, thy sorrows my sorrows, thy joys my joys. O friendship, O union, O unity. May I leave myself entirely to go unto Jesus. He is my center, he is my all. O Jesus, thou in me and I in thee. May we be united forever, now and in eternity. This life of friendship was truly the whole life of Gertrude, and in every line of her book, the heart of Jesus seeks only to draw us to the, that life. One day, as she was reading in public on the commandment, thou shalt not love the, thou shalt love thy Lord God with thy whole heart and with thy whole soul and with all thy strength. One of the sisters, struck by her loving accent, said to our Lord, How much, my, my God, thou art loved by Gertrude, who teaches us with such a door how, how we too ought to love thee. And Jesus answered, From childhood I guarded and prepared her for my friendship and preserved her pure until the day one of her her own free will, she united herself to me. Then I give myself entirely to her. 
and now with full delight, I repose in her heart. Love has united her inseparably to me as fire unites gold and silver into, to form a precious combination. Gertrude gave all to Jesus, who was able to say of her with delight, she has given me all she has without any reserve for the salvation of the world. And he, in return, gave all to her, his divine heart, which became the heart of Gertrude, his sacred wounds, which he pressed on her, his merits, which she used at her will, his almighty power, of which she could dispose as a sovereign. All the life of Gertrude was passed under the eyes of eye of Jesus. As we have seen at the beginning, she found, it no, found no pleasure but in him. I find nothing on earth in which I can take pleasure, said she to Jesus, except thee alone, my Lord. And move the guys. <laughs> I find nothing on earth in which I can take pleasure, said she to Jesus, except thee alone, my Lord, who art full of sweetness. And Jesus answered her, And I find no delight in heaven or on earth without thee, because I have associated thee by love to all my joys, so that I enjoy no satisfaction apart from thee, and the greater my satisfaction, the greater will the fruit be for thee. Thus the heart of Gertrude became for Jesus an agreeable abode, which he found his delight and loved to rest both day and night. And he too gave his divine heart to her in a very special manner. They had, as it were, one heart in the most complete sympathy. What the heart of Jesus wishes, as we have said, from the most, for, most from us is this life of friendship. He has opened his heart to us for the purpose and will henceforth call us his friends. He stands at the door of our heart and knocks. My child, give me thy heart. He solicits us with infinite tenderness. He needs our love in order that his own may be satisfied. We may say that he begs for our love. Oh, let us give him what he desires. Let us live with him that life of friendship, which is so glorious for God, since it is the triumph of his power, the exaltation of his mercy. It is at the same time, so sweet, so fruitful for our souls and enables us so powerfully to obtain graces from our brethren. Once only soul beloved by God said to the angels to Gertrude, St. Gertrude has more influence over the divine heart than thousands of others to obtain the conversion of the, of the living and the deliverance of the dead. Practical conclusion, number one, let us speak to Jesus in our prayers as to a friend. Friend, lend me the lo three loaves. Behold, he whom thou lovest, and we shall be entitled to expect all from his affection. From friends, we expect the best. Let us, number two, let us perform all our actions for Jesus, our friend, and remember that when we serve our neighbor, it is he whom we serve. Number three, in our sufferings, let us keep with Jesus, our friend, and never forget that the cross is a gift of his love, the proof of our own, and that his friendship will sweeten, ennoble, and sanctify all our sufferings. Amen. Amen. Wow. <laughs> An awesome chapter, isn't it? Yes. Where do we begin on our thoughts, right? I'm looking through my book now, and it's like it's all highlighted. 
<laughs> there was something that I was like, oh, I got to remember. And it's it, it really goes back to abandonment, though, because if we abandon ourselves, we can truly, fully love. So it's yes. like, oh, that is so awesome. <clears throat> yeah, it's like, I mean, that's what definition of love is, right, is to love yeah. others, you know, yeah. in the fullness. So we have to forgive up ourselves. Mm -hmm. and it goes back to that first commandment thou shalt love the lord thy god with the, the whole heart and with the whole soul and with all thy strength yeah yeah so one of the highlights is um says all of that is i have is thine you know, and he has said to me, you must also be able to say, all that thou hast is mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Always yeah. Go ahead, Bob. The, let's see, on page 72, uh, I think it's, is it correlate on yours? Over on page 72. Mm -hmm. um, starts off with uh, just a minute, wait, hang on um, one oh, wait, wait, wait. let's see where this line uh, maybe I don't know try one more sometimes these the online gets uh, changed go one more page no go back so let's see Looking for uh, where does that start? One, all oh, one. Hang on. Okay, uh, one more, at least. There we go. Um, in the center, where um, the last condition for friendship is to share, and then later, Jesus has fulfilled this condition admirably. He has taken our human heart and made himself one heart with us. He has espoused all the interests of humanity in becoming man. He has taken all our sorrows on himself. He feels my sympathy, all joys, more keenly than we do ourselves. Oh, may it be the same with me, dear Lord. May my sentiments be guided entirely by thy. Uh, may there be between, between thy will and mine not only union, but unity. Uh, oh, Jesus, may thy heart be my heart. Thy sorrows, my sorrows, thy joys, my sorrow, joys. O oh, friendship, O oh, union, O oh, unity, may I leave myself entirely up uh, to go unto Jesus. He is my center, he is my all, O oh, Jesus. Thou in me and I in thee. May we be united forever, now and in eternity. Ooh. I know. That's if it, if we could attain that, he can attain it easily. If we could attain that same level of intimacy, oh my gosh, he is with us all this, every moment. Yeah, this comes out um, to me. You know, this stands out as he exposed all this interest of humanity. Right, so that's all of humanity. From the beginning to the end, yeah, and, you know it's it's just the depth is just incredible. I know, I agree. Yeah, I think on that. Uh... That same thing. Oh Jesus, may thy heart be my heart, thy sorrows, my sorrows, thy joys, my joys. Uh, mm -hmm. That is true friendship, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. In the past few years, we've gone through some of those things together. But yeah. All of us. All of us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And any of the uh, any of the uh, prophecies come true as they seem to be heading, hard to know. It may even be more dependable on that unity. So, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, so necessary. This is maybe why we're preparing on this. It could be the Lord's got us doing this thing not once or twice, but now already four times. <laughs> uh, be because, because he does want us to be there. Maybe he wants us to be a part of helping others from giving up uh, when things get bad. I don't know. Well, I've, I've had that premonition for many years. Right. Yeah. Well, absolutely. I mean, that's, you know, that's his, his, his voice. That's what he, his command, right? To yeah. love one another as live with thyself. So, um, I don't know, you know, every time I read this, I mean, we say it over and over again, but it, it's a renewal. I mean, it, I don't know if this will ever get old. We could probably read this, you know, the rest of our lives. You know, and, and pulls. Well, look at the other book. Look how thick that is. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. That reminds me of a book, uh, uh, Theology for Beginners. It's by Frank Sheed. Um, but it's it's really the start of a, another book of uh, Theology and Sanity. And it's just much bigger, much thicker, much deeper. But it's it's the same idea that yeah. well, we can only just read this small book and then, you know, really get a basic understanding what she was saying in the bigger book. So that's right. Oof. I'm glad that this priest help um but by by, by uh, his condensing it in the way he did to to um to interpret to interpret it i guess being able to write explain i should say yeah explain what she says not just what she says uh helps a great deal to um, navigate through this very, you know, it's very deep stuff. And um, he, I think he's done his father, Andre, terrific in um, helping, um, you know, bring it, bring it to light better. I'm sure if I watch that bigger book is is um, drenched in, in the, the dialogue between she and Jesus. So it, it's a little bit harder to um, absorb it all in one time, you know. Yeah. Is the bigger book the same title? I would love to. I would love no, to. Read. No, so it's, something, it's something to the effect of the it has her name on the front. Um, oh, I see. I can't, and you know, I can't find my book. I had it. I don't know if I loaned it to somebody or what. And I've just gone through my whole house, you know, kind of sorting through stuff and whatnot. And I, I hope I didn't inadvertently. Well, I haven't thrown the books away now that I'm thinking about. It. I got them in another location waiting to be. Maybe they're. I just can't find it, and I'm one. So, you know, I'm the same way with my little book from our retreats and my yeah. bigger book. I'm like, where did I put those? Because I know <laughs> they keep walking around. I said, oh, there it is. It's over here. Now. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I would okay. love to read that. Oh, that there, there, there it is. Right here. The one with the where she's holding what looks like yes. a staff. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Life and Revelations of St. Gertrude. Well, yeah, I think and, that's the bigger one. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. 
Awesome. I will definitely get that. It's a long read. It's, it's definitely. <clears throat> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, if there's nothing else, I guess we can end with a prayer and uh, okay. go on our, on our way. Um, seeing it's uh, Pentecost, may I end with a, a Pentecost prayer? Absolutely. And the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Spirit of Christ, stir me. Spirit of Christ, move me. Spirit of Christ, fill me. Spirit of Christ, seal me. Consecrate in me your heart and your will, O Heavenly Father. Create in me a fountain of virtues. Seal my soul as your own, that your reflection in me may, may be a light for all to see. Amen. 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 Have a good weekend, everyone. Good night. <clears throat> See you tomorrow, yeah. maybe. All right. All right. All See right. you guys. Bye. See you. Thank you.